I think we have two things in play. The first thing is that the CBN has continued to bolster the market, and so they've shown increasing capability to fund the FX space. But from the autonomous space, which is the investor and exporters window, we've seen a reduction in the flows that have come into that market, which, if you look at it, it's, it's a question of investors are beginning to take a more subtle look at the economy, right? And so we usually have an average of about 2 billion, 2.5 billion or 3 billion flows on a monthly basis, but we found that number dwindle considerably in the last one to two months. But generally speaking, you continue to have flows in the market. The official spot market is stable. The parallel market is stable. The I&E window is relatively stable. We'll hover around 361, get to a peak of about 363, but we're down back to 361. So to a very large extent in the FX market, there's some level of stability. Now, in terms of demand, we expect that you continue to have demand around this time as we go further down into quarter three. And like I said, that's basically around trying to deal with the demands that come from the U tides down in September into October and all of that. So as we got out of as we are in quarter three, I expect that the demand levels will rise compared to quarter one or quarter two. But to the extent that the central bank has continued to defend the market, we think that the FX market will stay relatively stable for now. With the fixed income space, I, I think what you see is a rather, a slightly different scenario. For the bonds market, I think for the first time in quite a while, we've seen a correction of the yield curve. And I will say we're probably seeing a normal yield curve where the short end of the market is lower than the long end of the market. We've seen increased activities around the 2027s and the 2037 um, maturities. But for T-bills, largely driven by the liquidity in the market. So we've seen some bullish sentiments in the last couple of days, and we expect that the bullish sentiment will still run today because we have more maturities today. But by and large, the fixed income space for the T-bill side have been more bullish than bearish. But for the bond side, we're open in a bearish note. But yesterday into today, we've been seeing some bullish runs around the mid to the long end of the curve. Uche, you mentioned that for now, you expect the currency to be stable, but let's look a bit further down the line. Uh, the biggest concern I think many point to around the outlook for the currency is what the foreign investors do ahead of the elections, whether or not we're going to see uh, 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 them running over each other to get out of Nigeria. How prepared do you think the central bank is for that? And in your view, how big is that risk? Okay, in the first place, I, I don't have the sense that you have an exit of the FBIs. What I think will happen is you'll have moderation in the flows, which is what we're already seeing. And you see a number of investors just rather take a more subtle and careful approach. So rather than come aggressively into the market, they'll just take a more subtle position. However, to the extent that you will have the international oil price somewhere around the 70 levels and probably say sustained around that, and the stability you have in the Niger Delta region, and again, with the Ex, ex, the reserves still well above $45 billion. I will expect some uptick in the in exchange rate between now and quarter three down into quarter four. But what the CBN will do or what NPC will do with interest rates will to a large extent determine the kind of reaction we'll get from the FPIs. What we foresee is that CBN might probably take a more a rather hawkish stand, moderately hawkish. Now, not the typical hawkish stand, but moderately hawkish. Why? If you look at what's happening in the middle belt and then the whole election fever and all of that, and the fact that 2018 budget was just passed, and then you see increased spendings, we'll expect that this would not be the time to moderate rates. And if you moderate rates lower than your, your positive carry trade for the FBIs, then we could get an exit. But if that doesn't happen, I would expect the CBN to be careful around the management of interest rates. Once we can have a positive carry for the FBIs, I do not expect an exit, right. but I would expect moderation in terms of the flows.